day in Bruges and I had a really great night yesterday meeting the locals tasting some very typical uh, Belgian food and today I'm actually going to climb the Belfort Tower it's like I heard it's 300 now I think it's heard, I heard it was 300 and something stairs um, I ate a lot yesterday so I definitely need to burn it off um, I tasted some really cool Belgian beer uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that and last but not least, get some lace and some chocolate, that's the reason why I'm here. So I've just come out of a lace shop in here in Bruges and um, I actually found out about lace, see it takes like forever to do and if you've got like a really small design it can take anything from 40 minutes to a few months uh, they normally use like two bobbins to do a very simple design but for um, a piece that I bought was uh, done with uh, four bobbins because it's, they do it the old Flanders way that's pretty, pretty cool so I'm inside the Belfort Tower I've gone up about 20 stairs and it's been okay so still got more to do <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Welcome in Belgium. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, guys, so wish me luck. I got another 300 and something odd to go. Guys, I've actually made it to the top, and I can't believe I made it to the top. 366 stairs isn't actually that much. So I was like thinking that was going to be more, but there's, there's not. You can see the bell behind me. And this is the view that you get. Um, Hopefully you guys can see. So it's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I feel quite chuffed. I could actually do 366 days like again. I just won't. <laughs> Um, and it's been voted one of the best places to come in Bruges for chocolate. Everything is handmade, homemade, and the owner is um, well, actually his sister's work in the shop. But he started out when he was 21 making chocolate. Nobody taught him. He just learned, which I thought was really, really cool. So I'm about to go in and check it out. Just look how yummy everything looks. Um, I'm going to ask this lady a few questions. Hello. Um, you know the chocolates that you make. What's the most popular type of Belgian chocolate that you have here? Oh, you have a mixture. Oh, okay. What makes um, what makes the chocolate here very special? In Germany, in a small box, you have it. Everywhere. It's just for the best. We don't say we are the best. They choose it. Yes. We are good chocolate cheese and Belgian. Why? My brother is born. Not this nobody. I understand. I understand. That's cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to now try some chocolate. And which one is this one, please? That's one hazelnut cream. Hazelnut, okay. Uh, you like cream caramel inside? Mm. Very good. We're going to buy the avocado, which is something typical from Flanders. Every grandmother makes it on the Sunday or on holidays. It's made with eggs, sugar coated milk and pure alcohol and you can use it as a topping on ice cream or just besides the coffee and you eat it with a spoon. Thank you very much. I'm just trying some honey chocolate. Um, it's like actually a waffle um, from this lovely place behind me. You guys can see. Uh, oh, I might pronounce it wrong, but yeah, let's try it. Mm. Actually tastes like honey. No, it's a bit weird, but it's really nice. Mm. Must try, guys. Nice. 